Hey guys, welcome back to the show for today. So in this video, I'm going to show you folks on how to move at data to a different folder on a different drive. Now, the reason why you may want to do this is because of the fact that your C drive is starting to fill up. And in my situation, actually, my C drive, which I'll show you, was completely full because 80 gigabytes was just going to add data. So once I moved add data over to this folder, this basically became an empty drive. So for me, add data was completely consuming the drive and how I moved it was quite simple. Now make sure that you're on the current build of Windows 10 because in previous versions of Windows 10, uh, Microsoft took this ability away, but they did finally give it back to us. So to be able to find where your at data folder is, hit the run button, or actually, sorry, hit the uh, start button plus R to bring up run, and you're going to punch this code into basically the box here. You can find this down in the description box below to copy and paste it. Hit OK, and this will bring up the roaming folder. Now for at data, just basically um, backslash go like this, and you'll come to this screen here. Now you can't move these ones no matter what. Microsoft won't let you and plus me you don't want to do it. In other versions of Windows 7, Windows 8, Vista, you can move these but I highly recommend against it due to the fact that this will actually break some programs. So leave these where they are. You want to move roaming because it can take off the most amount of space. I mean if we highlight over these you can basically see that this one's taking like 818 of basically the space that this drive is. Um, this one's taking up 33 kilobytes. So like, there's not much between these ones. This one, on the other hand, is taking up 80 gigabytes of space. So, to be able to move it, you're going to head over to location. And if you don't see location, make sure you're on the current version of Windows 10. And basically, what you're going to do is change this symbol behind this backslash to whatever you want. Now most likely it's going to be a C, so what you're going to want to do to make sure you're picking the right drive is to head to this PC and you're going to see a drive that you want to pick from. So if you have an extra drive plugged in, you'll see it. For me, it's M that I'm going to be sending this all to, which I've already done, but this is my best drive because it's the one that's basically the emptiest. Now when you're picking your drives, make sure that the drive is always connected to the computer because removing that drive will be like deleting uh, at data and that will pretty much cause a lot of programs that rely on that area to end up no longer working correctly. So pick a drive that is always connected. So once you've determined what that number is or letter is, punch that in here, hit apply and you'll be prompted with a box asking if you want to make a new folder and send all those files there. Hit yes and let the computer end up actually sending the files there. Now if you run into a unique situation like I did, you might find that your C drive still has those files on there. So one thing to check if the files have actually gone to the right location and Windows has defaulted to that folder now to be the correct place to send those files now, hit the same thing you did before, hit um, start button R Go back to that location and make sure that the letter you punched in is the one that's here. If it happens to be the C drive, keep doing the process over and over until Windows takes on the change. For the people that are still seeing the memory on the C drive, what you're going to want to do is head into basically user, your name, at data, and you'll see a file there by the name of roaming. Just to check how many gigabytes are in there, it should show roughly what you moved over. Now in my situation, it's not showing the right as the other drive that I moved because I already deleted everything out of it. But just say delete, say continue, and in my situation it won't move a few files here and there. Don't worry, just say try again. If it doesn't work, just say cancel and don't worry about it again. Anyway, that's how you move the roaming slash uh, at data file. It's quite easy to do. The only thing that will be the hardest thing to do in this video is making sure that you have the latest version of Windows 10. And if you have that, then this video is pretty simplified. Again, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I hope this video helped you guys out.